So him being happy and doing it, that's his department. You're going to do it, and we're going to learn from it. You with me? All right. Last thing is this, and you can go home. Uh, we not only teach them, we correct them when they forget the wisdom that we've taught them. Now, I've already talked a little bit about this, but look what it says in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. It says, for these commands are a lamp. This teaching is a light, and the corrections of discipline are the way to life. I've already told you that if we fail to discipline, we lead, uh, you know, or contribute ultimately to our kids' uh, demise. But if we are available to discipline them and we correct them appropriately, then we lead them to a life of success. Uh, <laughs> correction uh, needs to be clear. It needs to be honest and upright. And it needs to be consistent. Uh, I know a lot of parents who ground for a week and it lasts an hour because their kids are lawyers. Has anybody got a kid who's a lawyer? <laughs> and they come into the room and they say, you know what, I think we should look at this from another angle. <laughs> Let's just pretend, and they, and they start talking to you like, you know, uh, I don't know, a lawyer, and, you're, and, and pretty soon you're dizzied by their logic and you're like, right, in fact, I should be grounded. And all of a sudden, you're paying this kid, you know, what, I don't know. Uh, I, I trust that God uh, gives us instincts at parent, as parents, and a lot of times our first instinct, as long as we're not being swayed by unjust un, uh, anger and sinful, you know, retribution, a lot of times our instinct in our punishments is right. And I'm, I'm all for kids, like, earning their ways back. You know, if I take my kid's Game Boy, of course, he can earn it back by good behavior and stuff like that. But sometimes a kid just needs to be punished so that they can learn the lesson. Don't be the parent. Life doesn't work that way. If, if a kid loses a job and comes back and says, you know, I'm really sorry that I punched the other guy. Uh, can I have my job back? Most, most bosses aren't going to hire him. I mean, that's done, and sometimes it's just the way things are. It's, it's okay for us to kids, it's okay for us to allow our kids to be disappointed, I guess is what I'm saying. In fact, it's helpful, helpful for them in the long run. Teaches them life, shows them the truth. So that's my hope for us. On this Mother's Day, you know, I, I, I trust that many of us who are moms in here, whether our kids are long gone or our kids are in our home now, uh, you've been, you know, you know, trusting God to lead you and help you as a mom. Uh, many of our dads, the same thing. I just wanted today to be a primer. Let's, let's be reminded again of the importance of this, this glorious task that God has given us. We get to be the shapers of another generation of humanity. May God find us doing that well. And may we rely on him for what we lack in that department. Uh, may we be willing and make time for the things that we need to teach our kids. And may we be available to them as their discipliners to lovingly shape and mold them so that they can have a long and prosperous life. Can we stand and be dismissed? Lord, we thank you for your word. and We thank you for uh, using it to shape our thinking. And God, we, uh, we, we thank you for the, the Proverbs that Solomon wrote down for his sons and the wisdom that they could glean from them. And well, Lord, we ask now that as we glean these things that you would lead us in raising our kids, raising our grandchildren, and being uh, uh, helpful in, uh, in, in God bringing about a, a new generation of, of young men and women who love and follow you. Uh, Lord, uh, I pray for the families in this church. Would you consecrate them to yourself? And would you give every family member in here, parent and child, grandparent alike, uh, the grace to hear from you through each other and to follow you all of their days. May you help us to train up our children so that they can go. And it's in your name, Jesus, that I pray these things. Amen.